standing, slanting and sleeping lines. Hey Bittu, why are you making lines again and again and erasing them? I am trying to draw a picture. Hey, to make a picture, you need to draw straight lines. And along with that, you also need to draw curved lines. Only then will your drawing look beautiful. Yes. So friends, in the previous video, we came to learn about straight lines and curved lines. In this video, we will learn about standing lines, slanting lines and sleeping lines in a very simple manner. It will be fun to learn about so many lines. Will you teach me? Yes. Look, first of all, let's practice making standing lines from the top to the bottom of the page. Hey, by practicing to draw such standing lines, we can make straight lines without even using a scale. Now let us practice drawing standing lines starting from the bottom end of the page and move upwards. Okay, let me do it. Now let's practice making sleeping lines. Draw sleeping lines from the left side of the page to the right, one below the other. Like this. Okay, I'm making. Now we have to practice making the sleeping lines from the right side of the page to the left. So, we will start from the right side of the page and move towards the left. You are right. Bittu, keep this in mind that the standing and sleeping lines are called straight lines. Yes, I will remember that. Come on, now let's practice making slanting lines. We have to make lines from the bottom left part to the top right part like this one by one. See? Wow! This is so much fun! Now slanting lines are to be drawn from the top right side of the page towards the bottom like this. Just see? Now my lines are turning out perfectly fine. You are doing very well. Now the slanting lines have to start from the bottom right corner of the page. These lines are to be drawn from the right bottom to the top in this manner. See? Ok, I'll make it. Very good. Now slanting lines have to be drawn from the right side, top to bottom, just like this. See? Wow! Look at my slanting lines. Well done, Bittu. Now let us practice making curved lines. To practice, we have to start drawing Lines from the left side of the page to the right side of the page. This is the way to make curved lines. Hey, this looks like waves of the sea. Now you can easily draw pictures using straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines, and also with curved lines. Apart from drawing pictures, we can also use these lines to write ABCD. Yes, Bittu. It looks like the alphabets A, E, F, H, I, K, L, M, N, T, V, 
W, X, Y, and Z are made using standing, slanting, and sleeping lines. C, O, S, and U alphabets are made using curved lines. B, D, G, P, R, Q, and J are alphabets made using straight and curved lines. Rightly said, B2. Now you practice making straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, and sleeping lines and curved lines. Now I must go. Yes. Okay. Bye. Children, today in this video, we practiced straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines. We also learned curved lines in this video. Now in the next video, we will practice making more interesting objects. Friends, today in this video, with the help of standing lines, slanting lines, sleeping lines, and curved lines, we will learn how to make rangoli and solve puzzles also. Hey, Pitu, will you help me to make rangoli? Yes, this rangoli is made of standing lines slanting lines, sleeping lines, and also curved lines. Rightly said, Bittu. First of all, I will make a big rectangle with two sleeping lines and two standing lines. Like this. In the middle of the rectangle, I will draw a sleeping line. Like this. Yes. Now we have Two rectangles. Draw two standing lines in the above rectangle and make three such small squares. Now under these three squares, I will draw three triangles just like this. I will use slanting lines to make inverted triangles just like this. This has become a beautiful rangoli. To make it even more beautiful, in these empty squares, I will make three ovals using curved lines. I will make three smaller ovals inside these three ovals. Wow! This is very beautiful rangoli. This is how we fill colors in a rangoli. This is looking very beautiful. Yes, let's go inside the house. Yes, let's go. Come on, let's play a fun game. Okay, Tingu. See, I will arrange these matchsticks in standing and sleeping lines to make a puzzle. Hey, but this puzzle is wrong. If we subtract 3 from 8, then we get 5. This is the puzzle. You have to remove any one matchstick and place it again in such a way that it solves the puzzle. Okay. Hmm. If I lift this sleeping stick, in the middle of number 8 and place it above the symbol of subtraction like this, then the puzzle will be solved. Yes, adding 3 to a 0 will make 3 only. Well done. Look, now I will solve the same puzzle in a different way. How is that? 
If from the answer of the puzzle that is three, I remove the standing matchstick and place it this side, then also the puzzle will be solved. Oh wow! If we subtract three from eight, then we get five. Pitu, there is another way to solve this puzzle. What's that? Look. Now, out of the subtracted number three in this puzzle, by removing the standing matchstick and placing it vertically here, then three is converted to five, and thus the puzzle will be solved. Oh yes, when we subtract five from eight, we get three. This is fun. Let's play another game. I have made a dog using matchsticks. We made the dog's tummy using four sleeping sticks and two standing sticks. The dog's face is made using two slanting sticks. To make the dog's tail, one slanting stick has been used. Yes, and four standing sticks have made the four legs of the dog. Hey, to make the legs of the dog, the matchsticks are not standing but slanting. Hmm, I didn't understand. Bittu, even if the line is slightly oblique, it is called slanting. Yes, understood. But where is the game? Wait, I'll tell you. Which direction do you think the dog is going? It is going towards the left. Now you have to remove any stick and place it in such a way that the dog appears going towards the right. Oh, so this is the puzzle. Hmm. By lifting the match stick under the mouth of the dog and placing it. In a slanting position near its tail, will show the dog going towards the right. Well done, Tingu. Now I will go. Children, hopefully through this video, with the help of straight lines like standing lines, slanting lines, slipping lines, and with curved lines, we learn to make rangoli and solve. Puzzles also. In the next video, we will learn about heavy and light things using a simple balance. Straight and curved lines. Tingu, what are you thinking? I want to draw a picture like this, but I am thinking about how I would draw it. Oh, it is very easy. This picture is made of straight lines and curved lines. Yes, friends. Today in this video, while drawing a picture. We will learn about straight lines and curved lines. But Bingu, what is this line? The sign made from one dot to other dot is called line. There are two types of lines: straight line and curved line. The line which goes in one direction is called a straight line, and the line which changes direction or which is not straight is called curved line. Okay, so we have to draw this picture using straight and curved lines. Yes, so let's draw. Yes, let's draw. First of all, let's draw a hill with the help of scale on paper. 
Yes, this hill is made of three straight lines. And I made a similar hill beside it like this. Oh wow, let's draw one sun like this with the curved lines between these two hills made up of straight lines. And draw sun rays using straight lines like this. Let's draw a house using both straight and curved lines. Yes, first of all, we have to draw two straight lines like this. Let's draw two more straight lines about these straight lines. Let's draw one more straight line at the base of these two straight lines. So, here which of these lines are straight? Here, the standing line, the sleeping line and the slanting lines are all straight lines. Oh, we forgot to draw the door and the window of this house. Yes, let's draw. Let's draw a door by using two straight lines and one curved line. And draw this window using these six straight lines. Now, let's draw the path to the house with the help of two curved lines. Also, let's make clouds here. Wow! Here we have drawn a beautiful picture. Let's fill it with colors. Yes, we will have fun. It is a very beautiful picture. Bingu, can we see straight lines and curved lines in objects other than drawings? Yes, we can see them in various objects around us. Look, this part of bowl is made up of curved line. If we place this bowl upside down and trace it, we get a circle. The circle is also made up of curved line. Yes, the shape of a CD is also curved. And all the edges of this box are made up of straight lines. Yes, the racing track of my cars is also made up of straight lines. Yes, but the edges of this racing track are made up of curved lines. Oh, Bingu! Did you notice? Both our shapes are also made up of curved lines. And Jalebi is also made with curved lines. Oh, it is very interesting. Yes, many objects in our surroundings are made with either straight lines or curved lines. You are right. Okay, Bingu, it's getting late. I will have to go now. Okay, yes, but we will meet again. Children, today we learned to make drawings using straight and curved lines. Now in the next video, we will know about shapes that are formed using straight and curved lines. Friends, in this video, we will know about the shapes we can form using straight line and curved line. Hello Bingu, how are you? Hello, I am doing good. What did you do all these days? I made different shapes using straight lines and curved lines and felt color in them. Wow! Show me! Look, 
This square is made using these four straight lines of same length. This rectangle is also made using straight lines. Yes, but in a rectangle, the opposite lines are of the same measurement. Yes, you are right. I never thought of that. Look, this triangle is also made using three straight lines. Yes. And this circle is made using a curved line. Did you make any more shapes using curved lines? I made this oval shape. Oh, yes. This oval shape is also made using curved lines. You are right. Do you know that pentagon, hexagon, quadrilateral, rhombus, star and plus sign are all made using straight lines? Yes, we can make several shapes using straight lines. But we can make only a few shapes like circle, oval and heart shapes using curved lines. Oh, it is not like that. We can make so many more shapes using curved lines. Yes, and we can make square, rectangle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, quadrilateral, rhombus, star and plus using straight lines. We can make several drawing easily using these shapes. Yes, these straight and curved lines are very interesting. We can also make several objects using straight and curved lines. Friends, in this video we learned about shapes, objects and pictures made using straight line and curved line. In the next video, we will learn some interesting facts related to straight and curved lines. Friends, Tingu and Bingu have gone for a walk without taking the umbrella. Suddenly, it starts raining. Let's look at what Tingu and Bingu made using straight and curved lines to protect themselves from rain. Oh, Bingu, before it starts raining heavily, please find a plan to protect ourselves from the rain. Yes, I will make an umbrella very quickly. Look, the umbrella is made using these curved lines. Oh, but how will we hold the umbrella? You are right. How will we hold the umbrella? I don't know about that. Oh, Bingu, does an umbrella only have curved lines? Think. Yes. Look, there are only curved lines in an umbrella. Didn't you notice? The handle of an umbrella is made using straight line. Yes, you are right. This straight line becomes the handle of this umbrella. Yes. Now you did it right. The umbrella is made using both curved and straight lines. Tingu, I think the rain has stopped. Yes, but we will keep the umbrella with us. We don't know when we would need it. You are right. Bingu, can we make any other shape using straight 
and curved lines like we made an umbrella come on think bingo hmm yes using a curved line and a straight line we can make a semicircle like this and yes a cylinder shape is also made using curved and straight lines ha 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 We had so much fun and enjoyed rain too. Friends, today we learned about the objects and shapes we can make using the straight and curved lines. In the next video, we will learn about horizontal line, sleeping line, vertical line, standing line and slanted line.